Okay, so there's some kind of a shifting thing in here, and it's as easy as just capping off of that other line. So if we check the tile below is equal to 1, we only want it to have us land if, oh, and um, B2 is equal to 0, or, let's see, would it be 0? Yeah, let me try it. So he shouldn't land until he lands. There we go. Before, every time I pushed down, he was standing on the ladder. Now it waits till he gets to the bottom, which is what we want. Now for the side to side, that's not working, and I think the reason that that doesn't work is because, let me see here. Oh, you know what, the direction changing here? For the sprite sheet, I think I'm gonna have to swap these two pictures so that depending on direction, he still looks the same. Because if I hit left and right, Oh, you know, you know what, I'm not even going to bother with that, forget it. It's just a tiny little cosmetic thing that should fix itself. When we go to run, it will only let us run, where are we at here, if, um, where are we at? Oh, picture one, key down. If action equals zero or action equals four, then it lets us run we need to add another one in or action equals seven Oops, equals seven um, action equaling seven i believe is the climbing yes so if he's climbing then you're s then you are also able to start running and what that should let us do is run off the ladder so if i start to climb i should be able to run off the ladder and i can uh, for some reason, he's still getting stuck right there, and he, yeah, he gets stuck on both sides. It's because we're still, we're still on eight eight. If you notice up here, which I could see this coming in handy, leaving the coordinates up there. But if I start to climb, but if I hit eight seven, so I've now officially moved to the next tile, I can run off, and everything seems fine. But if I'm only part way up and I try to run off, I'm stuck. and I think I know why that is you know what in timer we said under why you were running that here we go if wait if b2 is less than zero I'm just gonna say if b2 is not equal to zero let me see if it fixes it because I think that's what it should have been to begin with because even if we're shift in a positive direction no that's not it let me just set this back here so, if B2 is less than 0 and tile does not equal 2, what is that, a ladder? Yeah. Then action equals 3. I'm going to put a stop in there and see if it does trigger that. So, I start to climb, I fall off. Okay, we're good. So, if I, I'm going to use F8 to step my way through here. I know the action is now set to three, so it'll the eye jumps until we're at three. It is moving him now. I can't slide this out of the way to look because auto redraw is not enabled, so that's it. Um, we can't watch the game. Anything that's covered is going to just be erased, so we can't see what's going on. So I'm just going to have to try to imagine what's going on here. It's it moved him down a small amount. Um, if tile it does equal one so the problem is, is it's saying that the tile that he's above is uh, or the tile below him is land it doesn't equal sky so it's stopping him that's what it's doing it's, st it's stopping him before he hits the ground we need to put shift in here too just like we did in the last um, code if tile it does not equal zero and B2 equals 0. Wait a minute. No, is less than 0. No, 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 no. It's got to be equaling 0. Let me try this. Now I got to get rid of that spot where I stopped the code. Here we go. Get rid of that. Uh, yes, it wants me to restart. Let's see if this works. 
I'm just a little off the ground, and he, it lets him fall, like it's supposed to. Now here's something that might not work yet. I wonder if I can run into the wall. Oh, cool. It it is set up properly. Good. I was hoping that the that that was going to work with the code for um for walking. Oh, couldn't quite make it. And as we were falling, we were able to fall into a wall. That's something we need to put in. Some collision detection for that. And the action equaling one happens to be in there. Let's see. This is for hitting walls. Actually, both of these are for hitting walls. So this piece here is just for hitting walls going right or left. Now as we fall, or jump, what are, what's falling and jumping here? Falling is three, jumping is two. So for action equals two, and action equals three, it's supposed to stop us. Huh. Um, we'll come back to this part. You know what I want to add before I forget? Sound. There is no sound in the Pac-Man game. I did not realize it. I didn't even think about it until I was already done with the videos and I had started on this tutorial. And I'm probably going to have to go back and do like a Pac-Man Revisited and try to fit it into one or two videos and just to add sound. Um, it is not a fancy way to add sound. You can't overlap sound using this method, but in the spirit of sticking to the rules, um, this is sound that you can add without having to have any extra outside stuff. Uh, it's, it, consider it built right in. If you have VB installed, you can do this. It doesn't matter where you are, you don't need anything special. What we have to do to add sound is over here on our project section, uh, over here, uh, right click and say add and add a module. Okay, this lets us. Um, this is a, a a place where you could put your own. You could put functions in here that you want to later import into other projects or something. Uh, and what's good about it is by having it in this module, you can import this module into other projects you do, and sound will work then. So what we need to do here is type the following. It's a little long, but just kind of bear with me on this one declare function um, let's call it sound effects SFX this is it short and I don't have to remember a whole lot um, got to say lib and this is winmm.dll I have that typed right yes winmm I'm trying to remember ah uh, okay I guess I won't be sure until I try to run it but I think that's right uh, alias you gotta type SND play sound A. I don't know why it's play sound A, but uh, I picked it up somewhere a long time ago and I don't remember why, if I ever knew. You gotta do a bival A as string. It, it doesn't matter what variable name you use, you can just use anything. I'm just using A and B because it doesn't matter. It shouldn't in any way affect the uh, the, the character, the heroes, A and B, this is separate. And you end it with as long. So, I think it worked. We'll give it a shot. Now, um, I'm going to put sounds for him swinging his sword. Because what I have done, um, I've got to jump back a, a line here, is I grabbed a couple sound effects. I grabbed one for a sword. I'm going to just turn up my volume and see if you can actually hear this thing play. Well, actually, that was the sound of the alarm. But it's just the sound of uh, a sword. And it's repeating itself, so that's why it's uh, you know, going over and over and over again. But this sound here, I'm going to grab and put it into the folder with the game. And save the video. One second.